this is the commitments that we have for sending out to people in the camp every day. So we promise to send this amount of food to the same to the people on the same day every week because we're trying to be encouraging of um, respect, dignity and also empowering people in the way that they're naturally eating. So we're asking people, are you eating as an individual? Are you eating as a family? Are you eating as a group? And then we're asking people what we can do to support them as they naturally come together to eat. Um, this is information that we've gathered from across the camp. This represents lots of different ethnicities. So we've got Kurdish families, Sudanese, Pakistani, um, Syrian, a whole range of people in the camp. And this is our commitment to them of what we're going to send out for numbers. So we send out to groups between 10 and 300 people eating together at a time. Um, but we cannot do any of this if we don't have food coming in. If you look at our shelves at the minute, it might look quite full. This is really, really, really low on food. We have absolutely no tea, we have no sugar, we have no tin tomatoes. This is really core, staple stuff. Tea is a really massively important cultural thing. Whenever people are coming together in the camp, they're drinking tea. It's also incredibly cold here. Yesterday, the day before, the temperature has really dropped. As the temperature drops, desperation, anxiety, fear rises. People need to come together to have a hot drink, to provide some comfort, just to provide some heat. If we can't give them tea, then they can't do that. So we really need tea, we really need sugar.